coming out of this weekend, there are a lot of questions about how President Trump views Bob Mueller's future as the special counsel overseeing the investigation into Russia meddling and also issues like obstruction of justice. The president was really aggressive in his tweets targeting Mueller by name, which is something that we haven't really seen him do over the last several months. He will often talk about how this investigation is a witch hunt, but he moved a step forward going after Mueller directly. And this has sparked a lot of concern that the president following the firing of Andrew McCabe uh, is feeling emboldened, feeling like the next target is going to be Bob Mueller. And you even saw John Dowd, who's one of the president's lawyers, seem to fuel that speculation further by saying he thinks that the Mueller investigation should end. Now, John told, Dowd told the AP that he has not discussed this with the president, uh, that he is not asking for Mueller to be fired immediately. But it really just contributed to this atmosphere where there's a lot of uncertainty on whether the president would be willing to make this step. The weekend ended with a different Trump lawyer, Ty Cobb, saying nothing to see here. The president is not seeking to uh, fire the special counsel. But for Republican lawmakers in particular, this is a huge moment because they have said repeatedly that if the president were to try to cross this line, to try to remove Bob Mueller from this investigation, that it would cross a red line for them. Lindsey Graham has gone so far as to say it would be the start of the end of Trump's presidency. There are things that Republicans could do legislatively to try to protect the special counsel investigation. So far, though, they haven't been willing to take that step. It would be a, a step basically designed to insulate Bob Mueller from anything that the president would be willing to do. The president typically will try to test out messages and test out how, how far he could go with something. And, and that's some of what it seemed like he was doing this weekend, throwing out the prospect that he might even fire Bob Mueller and seeing if Republicans reacted. And when he's done this with Republicans, he's found pretty much the same thing. There will sometimes be some tough rhetoric from GOP leaders. There will sometimes be some veiled criticism of him. But ultimately, they don't really follow through. There have been very few instances where Republicans have really said, no, Mr. President, we're going to stop you from doing this. And the president sees that. And he he believes that ultimately Republicans will let him do uh, what he wants. Uh, that is some of the discussion, though, that's taking place this week among the GOP leadership. Is this different? Is the firing of a special counsel who's investigating the White House? House different than something that the president wants to do on tariffs or, or even on foreign policy.